There you are. Yeah. So I I was messed up with my other camera. So I have to return to my laptop camera now okay and let me see my other screen and so this is the presentation and let me see i need to i think this is not the okay uh, oh yeah 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 <laughs> i think we, we really need to get started i don't want to waste your time you have been waiting on uh, uh, a lot of minutes already so it's 10 14 10 14 so it's supposed to be 10 minutes uh Mm, what warming up so i think i'm past it now let's start a tagalog conversation at the hotel checking out let me see again i really want to make sure about yeah thank you thank you for concurrent viewers say hi say kumusta old and new faces i bet we have we have new 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 members of this live session thank you for for concurrent viewers how is that okay i without um, without further ado <laughs> is that the right term let's get started let's do it let's do it our topic for today is tagalog conversation at the hotel checking out yes it looks like my mic is good looks like the screen is good we're good I think so let's get started let's get started and so hotel checking out and uh, yes a little bit of picture uh, yeah of course this is a picture of a hotel but not a Filipino stuff so I just gathered I just got it from the internet over somewhere from the internet so okay just for the sake of a picture although this is not doesn't look like Philippine setting so it will work okay right as an introduction and so if you see let me say have this one if you see this symbol the sun symbol what follows next what follows in that line along that line are our tagalog line and then if you see this symbol this refers to english line the statue of liberty okay let's let's have this first first opening opening who whoever would uh, would uh, say the first statement so uh wow i'm confused here again <laughs> it's her yeah her and sia okay nothing wrong her and sia her is also sia okay sia in tagalog is oh, sia in english is him or her okay no confusion I hope my mind is in the right track. <laughs> okay, now, now, let's do English first, okay? Her. Hi there. Are you checking out now? So this is my camera. Okay. Hi there. Are you checking out now? Okay. So, and then in Tagalog, that means, Hi, sir. Check out na po. Hi, sir. Check out na po. Okay, so, as an introduction you see our topic for today is your conversation when che checking out of your hotel checking out at the hotel at the hotel so i already have prepared various uh, conversation on various setting we already had this uh, check in hotel checking in and then uh, at the restaurant uh, asking for direction and yeah and also talking with uh with uh uh, what asking information at the reception desk about housekeeping that was the previous episode and now this is about uh, granting that you want to check in at a certain hotel now maybe i hope or maybe if i would have the sequence of this uh, presentation it doesn't mean that you are out of the philippines after this of course i just had had to pick this topic check out hotel check out so that i am able to complete a uh, set of uh, of uh, tagalog conversation from the airport and then your hotel so because i had to comp i had to compile everything and i want to produce it uh, into an audio book how is that i'm going to produce all this uh video or presentation that i made on youtube 
and it will be out on, as an audio book for people yes and so that while you're driving you will hear me yes yes you would be able to download this via what uh, as an ebook and then it will be out for you and you it would be accessible accessible for you even if you're offline yes it's a big project for me and that's why this is what i'm busy about right this is this is what the team is busy about yes okay so just an introduction okay so i need to 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 uh to make it in a hurry i have lots of slides for you okay so first line hi there are you checking out now so in tagalog it means hi sir check out na po hi sir check out na po yes and uh, yeah you notice that hi there is no direct translation tagalog di uh, there is no direct translation to tagalog of hi so let's just borrow the greeting hi sir yes even if we are filipino we filipinos we often say hi also and hi sir hi sir or hi ma'am hi ma'am okay and then also we borrow the word check out it's easier hi sir check out na po hi ma'am check out na po okay let me see reaction i want to i want to find reaction how where is that reaction this way yes okay this one yep hello alex hello sub thank you for being here yes sir uh, yeah just stay we have a uh, interesting topic for today okay okay all right yes and you heard my announcement thank you and feel free to type your reaction about the project that we're working on we we are working on okay i'm kind of stammering okay next i'm kind of uh over conscious now okay next line okay in tagalog oo pasensya nahuli yata ako oo pasensya nahuli yata ako yeah just like me today i was quite late pasensya pasensya to my audience okay and then the same thing in our uh hypothet hypothetic uh character or it could be you okay uh oh oh pasensya nahuli yata ako that means when you're referring to check out time right and so in english that means yes sorry i know we're a few minutes late yes sorry i know we're a few minutes late okay so very familiar to you already uh yes of course oh, oh. sorry is for pasensya nahuli nahuli means uh late late ako is of course me okay and then few minutes uh, so i didn't translate it directly so i just translated it the way uh most likely filipinos will say based on that uh, condition or that context nahuli yata ako yes so i know we're a few minutes late in english if i would translate i know we're a few minutes late in tagalog it would be like alam ko uh, kami ay uh konting minutong nahuli something like that alam ko kami al i know is alam we are is kami a few konting minuto late nahuli so if you would translate it literally you would say alam ko kami ay kaunting minutong nahuli it doesn't sound natural in filipino in tagalog so yeah if you want to sound natural a filipino speaker you would say nahuli yata ako nahuli yata ako because nahuli is late and then yata literally means it seems so it seems uh it looks like or i feel like i feel like i'm late something like that let me see if you have question i want it's nice to have question hello rogers marine marami salamat guru 
ikaw ay you are doing mabuti hi rogers are you on uh, uh, i think it's my first time or maybe you have different name on facebook tell me where you are at or oh, and also are you are you member of our facebook group already if not feel free uh, we are inviting you to join us yes uh, Marine, I don't know what is the best uh, name for you in short because I want to call you in a personal, uh, very personal, what, uh, name like uh, I call Kelly, I call Sab, I call Alex, maybe there's another name that I can call you like uh, what I say uh, comfortably, what is the name that uh, I can call you comfortably in uh, something like could you be mark could you be brian could you be bruce <laughs> could you be uh what jess could you <laughs> something like that just a kind of name that i can i would feel that you are a person i'm talking to you as a person uh randall cherry okay oh okay welcome to the group thank you thank you randall and you are from south carolina correct me if i'm right <laughs> if, correct me if I'm wrong and yeah I'm happy that you're here uh, yeah hello in your state maybe we are in the same time zone okay okay now I have to proceed it's quite long lights lots of slides for us today and yeah I hope that my audio is audio is good right right okay now let's say oh I'm done here with yes sorry oh oh pasensya nahuli yata ako next slide next okay uh english again let's start with english that's no problem it's always really busy at checkout time anyway that's no problem it's always really busy at checkout time anyway how do we say that in tagalog okay follow after me or repeat after me or yeah read it as i say it Walang problema po. Lagi namang busy kapag oras ng pag-check out. Again, slowly. Walang problema po. Lagi namang busy kapag oras ng pag-check out. I hope that is fa that I hope that is easy for you to say. Again, walang problema po. Lagi namang busy kapag oras ng pag-check out. Yeah? So let's say, let's let's do it word for word. Wala, of course, no. None, nothing. Problema, problem. Po, again, if you are old, uh, old audience or old viewer or old what student of mine, po means... Uh, you already know you're familiar so i'm talking to people who are new in my uh, presentation uh, you uh, people first timer uh, like uh, randall po means uh, it's a word that we attach to to some statements or to most statements statements tagalog statements to indicate that we are talking to you in a very polite manner right po Po, walang problema, po, it's because, yeah, so we have to say it in a polite way, especially if we are in service, right? And, yeah, whether if you are, well, sometimes if you peer-to-peer, oh, no, not peer-to-peer, -peer, but um, just a stranger, you just met him, you just m met her, it's also all right to say, po, because you are not, you, you, you don't know your, your what, the, how, what is this uh, the difference what is your economic status what is her economic status or what is her uh, work what uh, education background what is your uh, something like that because there there are reasons on how on why we want to to say in a polite manner right sometimes uh, it's safe it's always on the safe side to to say Tagalog statements in a polite manner. Walang problema po. Okay. Or of course, it's also all right. Walang problema. That is, if it's all right to, to skip the po. It's up to you. Okay. Walang problema. That is, 
That is all right also. Lagi namang busy kapag oras ng pag-check out. It's always, it's always lagi. It's always, right? Lagi means it's always really, it's always really busy. Uh, really, I didn't use it here in uh, English, uh, in Tagalog line. I didn't use it. So, let's see. Uh, busy, of course, we borrow busy word at checkout. We borrowed the word checkout. Uh, anyway, anyway can be namang here. But it's not a direct translation. But the, the way you sound like namang, it could be like anyway. Lagi namang. Uh, Yes, always, anyway, something like that, if you would translate it in Tagalog. It's always really busy at checkout time. So in Tagalog, you would say, Lagi namang busy kapag oras ng pag-checkout. So if you're not comfortable and it's very long for you, maybe it's also uh, easy for you to, if you hear it, uh, you don't understand what is lagi namang. And just take the word busy, busy kapag check out time so it's easy i think you won't get lost but it's nice to understand to gather all the words that filipinos use lagi namang busy kapag oras na pag check out yep let me see uh, if you have question south carolina my asawa is filipino ako have been to Philippines, apat. Yes, you're very familiar with the Philippines already. Good to know. Yes, and you will return for sure. Yes. Okay, and you're familiar about some words, I believe. Okay, let's move on. Let's continue. Next, uh, let's do Tagalog. Siya nga. Iyong dati na ma Siya nga. Iyong dati naming hotel, siningil kami sa late checkout. Siya nga, iyong dati naming hotel, siningil kami sa late checkout. So, siya nga is translated as, oh really? Let's, let's see, let, let me say it in English. Oh really? The last hotel we stayed in charged us for a late checkout. Oh, really? The last hotel we stayed in charged us for a late checkout. Oh, really? It means, siya nga. Siya nga. Oh, really? The last hotel, the last hotel, iyong dati naming hotel. The last hotel, dati, last, or previous. Dati literally means previous. The last hotel, we stayed, we is for namin or naming, naming, there's ng because you have to connect namin with hotel, naming hotel, uh, literally naming hotel means our hotel, but, uh, but we are translating it or uh, uh, interpreting it into Tagalog, uh, the English line into Tagalog, uh, Really, you cannot gather it word for word, right? Don't get confused. Naming hotel or our hotel. The last hotel we stayed in, stayed. Uh, I didn't use is the word stay anymore in Tagalog line. It's okay. And because uh, the information in this line, iyong dati naming hotel, siningil kami sa late checkout. So it's implied that uh, you stayed in that hotel right so stayed was not uh, uh, used the word uh, stay in tagalog is uh tinuluyan tinuluyan in tagalog stay tinuluyan but never mind I stayed in charge charge siningil yes please take note vocabulary siningil to my old audience the siningil they are already familiar with this i already have mentioned siningil charge us for a late checkout very easy late checkout same in english i'll say it again siya nga iyong dati naming hotel siningil kami sa late checkout is that not fun okay i hope you are able to follow 
okay next 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 slide next slide so this is it uh her what did she say the hotel isn't booked this week the hotel isn't booked this week so it's not a problem how was everything the hotel isn't booked this week so it's not a problem how was everything in tagalog this is how we say it hindi naman nakabook ang hotel ngayong linggo kung kaya walang problema kumusta ang lahat sir if you're a lady she will say kumusta ang lahat ma'am of course that is that is uh, easy uh, yeah hindi naman nakabook ang hotel ngayong linggo kung kaya walang problema kumusta ang lahat sir hindi of course not isn't naman is uh, just to emphasize to emphasize that it's not okay it's not nakabook booked ang hotel of course hotel uh, ngayon ngayon is uh, ngayong linggo ngayon refers to this here but of course literally ngayon is today but if you are talking about the whole week week you can say ngayong linggo this week ngayong linggo hey kelly i hope you're not confused please uh, uh if you have a certain reaction or question kelly hello to you i hope you are familiar using this ngayon here linggo ngayong linggo because i had to special to to mention kelly because we already have talked about ngayon in well we were doing our video chat if i remember correctly if either it's you it's kelly or it was kim we discussed about ngayon uh, some some time few days ago okay so ngayong linggo this week but of course ngayo cannot be translated as uh, this week uh, the way i say it is not really literal translation is that um, the, the meaning is just the, the way it the way filipinos mean and the way it means in english or in american english i believe so ngayong linggo this week and then kung kaya kung kaya is for it means so 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 s o i'm sorry for my wrong pronunciation so kung kaya walang problema it's not a problem walang wala wala not problem problema okay kumusta ang lahat how how was everything everything lahat everything alex are you doing good uh how's our new voc list of vocabulary and the way you say kumusta ang lahat how was everything okay special mention to people that i've been interacting before yeah uh i think it was kim <laughs> but i'm familiar with it okay yep like uh, ngayong linggo yeah this week okay next because ngayon literally means today today this day or this moment also we talk about ngayon and what else the other one uh, never mind okay it will take a while for me to gather memory <laughs> next next english the room was great the beds were really comfortable and we weren't expecting our own fridge the room was great the beds were really comfortable and we're expecting our own fridge okay the room oh, in tagalog let's do it in tagalog ang kwarto ay mainam ang kama ay komportable at hindi namin inaasahan ang frigider again slowly ang kwarto ay mainam ang kama ay komportable at hindi namin inaasahan ang frigider okay word for word ang of course is the article and it it's the same as saying the okay 
kwarto for room was great uh, was great it's not uh, mainam uh, i believe so great could be mainam in tagalog right mainam great or good mainam yeah it's just uh, like it's the meaning the mean or synonym it could be synonym synonym to mabuti okay great the beds beds kama kama of course were oh okay i should have said mga kama ang mga kama i should have said that so okay take note of that if it it is uh, plural if more than one bed you would say mga kama comfort comfortable comfortable this is easy for you as english speaker comfortable comfortable i believe so with the spanish speaking people it sounds like spanish comfortable comfortable that's how we say it right comfortable i have i have a story are you ready uh, is it all right to say a story when i was new here in america <laughs> I hope this is funny. <laughs> I hope we will laugh together. I'm the only one laughing right now. I hope you are laughing also. When I was new, and maybe Bruce is listening, hey Bruce, please write down. Uh, uh, this is our story. It was me and Bruce in the car. <laughs> okay, and and uh, we were uh, right in the what highway, and of course next to a certain uh, what interchange. And then I said, I said to my husband. Hey, I'm I'm curious about Chipotle. <laughs> I'm curious about Chipotle. What is in there? <laughs> so my husband's reaction was, "What? <laughs> what did you say, Chipotle?" What? <laughs> so that means Chipotle, <laughs> right? So I hope you are laughing. <laughs> it's my it's my what ignorance on how to say Chipotle. I thought it was it it has to be um, pronounced chipotel because of comfortable, <laughs> okay, something like that. Any reaction, <laughs> okay. And where is Bruce? I hope you are laughing. <laughs> yeah, stories are maganda. <laughs> yeah, chipotle versus chipotel and any other word that that get com I get confused. Okay, comfortable versus comfortable that's what i mean okay and at hindi we weren't hindi we weren't hindi namin inaasahan um really if this is uh, hindi namin this means we weren't we weren't hindi namin inaasahan now i can see the importance of grammar here and why namin hindi namin maybe i will i will really have to set aside uh, one session for, uh, about grammar and all especially pronouns how how to rearrange but of course i already started it uh, with my little video mini videos i put up on instagram i started it with uh, one word like uh, what was that word uh, pakiramdam and then followed by a pronoun so yeah just follow my mini clips i i put up on instagram uh my series of mini clips would be about pronoun i believe so and how you rearrange how you say the pronoun like uh, uh pakiramdam ko pakiramdam mo and then next aking pakiramdam iyong pakiramdam also pakiramdam namin pakiramdam ninyo so just follow me with all uh, uh, all other videos that i make because uh, of course uh, this is our practice so here i am not really so much concerned about grammar in this series because this is about conversation so i want you to be familiar with how filipinos speak uh, the, what say the statements uh, naturally that's that's my intention here here every friday and every sunday i believe so. although occasionally on sunday i also touch a bit of uh, grammar but yeah tagalog conversation at the hotel on certain uh, certain conditions certain uh, activities it's all about tagalog exchange uh, with you and the filipino local okay hindi namin inaasahan ang 
prejudice inaasahan means expecting expecting of course what about the word prejudice this is filipino term we borrowed in english or of course this is not really a word but a brand a brand of a, a fridge a prejudice frid frigidaire right is that's the brand prejudice right fridge but of course also in the philippines instead of saying prejudice uh, people also say ref which means refrigerator ref refrigerator here in the us i don't hear people say ref they said they say fridge but in the philippines in, uh, of course people especially like uh, past generation people they would say prejudice instead of ref ref for the people who you know, are younger generations right of course i don't know where which generation i belong <laughs> okay uh, do i belong in the old generation uh, okay or do i belong in the in the uh, newer generations maybe i'm in the middle okay or maybe i'm both right i could be belonging in the old generation at the same time belonging in the uh, new uh, uh, younger generations these days so if you are uh, like in the past generation in the philippines prejudice but if you want the feeling of you're in the younger generation you would say ref not fridge but it's up to you you have choices okay next line okay i need, i want to finish these slides i have lots prepared i have lots of slides i prepared for you i'm glad you liked it yes that's what she said i'm glad you you liked it natutuwa ako at nagustuhan niyo po natutuwa ako at nagustuhan niyo po okay although this statement most likely you won't hear it, hear it in a, like a front desk conversation and uh, also what i like to say filipino service people especially in the front desk uh, in the hotel front desk we don't no i don't know if but me with my observation we don't uh, like um, make a lot of exchange like especially as uh, asking how are you or kumusta especially if the 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 check out uh, activities are so busy and uh, uh, that you need to go right away so these people in the hotel uh, service people most likely they won't uh, make a lot of exchange with you so and also i think that filipinos generally are shy so they are just going to smile or what but maybe i don't know it depends maybe some hotels are trained to be right outgoing and chatting with people but yeah generally if it's you're it's just a stranger there's not lots of exchange but let's see natutuwa ako at nagustuhan niyo po i am really not so sure if this statement is being being um, uh, uttered or being spoken anymore maybe just english or maybe they will say i'm glad or something that's nice something like that or that's good so i just had to translate it in tagalog because this is how it can be said literally uh, i'm glad i'm glad natutuwa ako i'm glad you liked it you liked it nagustuhan nyo Na you liked it of course po is just to mean that you are talking in a polite manner natutuwa ako at nagustuhan nyo po nagustuhan means liked okay next slide okay next my wife was disappointed that the pool wasn't open this morning though in tagalog that means ang asawa ko ay nabigo kaninang umaga na ang languyan ay nakasara kasi again ang asawa ko ay nabigo kaninang umaga na ang languyan ay nakasara kasi ang asawa the wife or ang of course is the article asawa ko asawa ko my wife asawa ko nabigo disappointed kaninang umaga is this morning kaninang umaga this morning 
na these are just connector na of course ang is article languyan languyan is i would say pool pool of course that uh filipinos would always also say it like uh, ang asawa ko ay nabigo kaninang umaga na ang pool ay nakasara kasi so instead of languyan we say pool but if i would translate pool it would say languyan La because langoy 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 means swim uh, add it to your vocabulary list langoy langoy means swim okay umaga is this morning nakasara nakasara is uh, wasn't open sara closed closed i use the word closed wasn't open the opposite of wasn't open of course it's closed so okay nakasara kasi let me get a reaction if you uh, that happens sometimes indianapolis oh <laughs> another story of indianapolis <laughs> later if i yeah later i will return to that comment babe bruce <laughs> yeah i have lots of means of uh, what encounter on how to pronounce english words and uh, yeah i'm very grateful that i i got i have give uh, what i'm very grateful that i have given the chance to to live here in the united states and learn learn english even more okay it's really n nice to be like uh, in a place where the, the language is spoken it's easier to 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 get it right it's 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 easier to to be fluent and be confident with your second language right <laughs> okay now let's have this one her i apologize for that we can't get a cleaner in any earlier than 10 a.m i apologize for that we can't get a cleaner in any earlier than 10 a.m in, in in tagalog let's do it ipagpaumanhin mo po Ipag paumanhin mo po. Hindi kami makakuha ng tagalinis bago mag alas 10 ng umaga. Ipag paumanhin mo po. Hindi kami makakuha ng tagalinis bago mag alas 10 ng umaga. Let's do word for word. Ipag paumanhin is I apologize. Okay, for that, it's not mentioned in the first statement. You don't need to. Ipagpaumanhin mo is you. Yeah, mo po. Mo is you. Hindi is not we can't. Or hindi, hindi kami. We can't. Hindi kami. Na maka, makakuha. Infinitive form of the verb makakuha. Uh, we can't get, get nang tagalinis tagalinis is cleaner of course linis is clean the word linis root word linis clean uh, you need the prefix taga to refer to make it uh, the person to transform the word into a noun and it's a person taga linis the person who's acting on on the linis uh, activity clean cleaning activity taga linis it's the person or cleaner bago bago is uh, earlier or before literally bago means before this, this means bago mag alas 10 before 10 a.m alas 10 is 10 a.m so you need to say uh, mag alas 10 you need to say it this way in tagalog mag alas 10 bago mag alas 10 before 10 a.m literally or earlier than 10 a.m umaga umaga uh, a.m umaga of course alas 10 ng umaga that is 10 a.m alas 10 ng umaga it's that means 10 a.m bago mag alas 10 ng umaga before or earlier than 10 a.m i hope we are good here let me see reaction yep next next uh 
Tagalog or English? English first. Well, we had a nice swim last night anyhow. Well, we had a nice swim last night anyhow. Tagalog, maayos naman kaming nakapaglangoy kagabi kung sa bagay. Maayos naman kaming nakapaglangoy kagabi kung sa bagay. Again, maayos naman kaming nakapaglangoy kagabi kung sa bagay. Okay, maayos is a nice, maayos. Maayos or could be ayos means orderly but it can mean nice also or good. Naman of course is just to to uh, emphasize that nothing is uh, nothing is uh, bad or maayos naman to emphasize the word maayos, right? Maayos naman or it's just nice, maayos naman. Something like that. Kami is we Nakapaglangoy, langoy is the swim, langoy, nakapag, past tense form of a swim, langoy, nakapaglangoy, swim, kagabi, last night is kagabi, last night, kung sabagay, kung sabagay is the way we say any, anyhow, anyhow, kung sabagay, yeah to me I think that's the closer Tagalog phrase for anyhow, Kung sabagay. I think there's other more a uh, phrase, but it will come up later. I, I really need to take note of that. Kung sabagay. Anyhow. How to say anyhow in Tagalog? The first thing that arises to me, kung sabagay. Okay. Next. Okay. Her. She said, will you be putting this on your credit card? Will you be putting this on your credit card? Okay. The, in Tagalog, you would hear it like, Card po ba ang paraan ng pagbayad nyo, sir? Card po ba ang paraan ng pagbayad nyo, sir? Okay, card, of course, we just borrow the English word card. And then, ba is just a, a word to mean that uh, the statement is in a question, in a form of questioning or interrogative. Card po ba? Ba? Question. That means you, somebody's, uh, he, the, the person you're talking with is asking you a question. Ang paraan. Ang paraan. Paraan in English is way or the way, the, the form of payment. Paraan. Nang pagbayad. Pagbayad means payment. Okay, nyo, of course, is you. Pronoun, you. Okay, so it's not really literal translation, right? It's just interpretation. But the meaning is just the same. Card po ba ang paraan ng pagbayad nyo, sir? Take note, paraan is way, literally. And pagbayad is a payment. Payment, right? Payment. Next, next slide. Okay, no, I'll pay cash. In Tagalog, you say, Hindi cash ang pangbayad ko. Hindi cash ang pagbayad ko. Hindi cash ang pambayad ko. Cash ang pambayad ko. Cash. So the way you say it here in English is cash. Tagalog people will say, Hindi cash ang Pambayad ko because our a a is just a a ka cash cash. Okay, so I think in English is I'll pay cash cash right. Filipinos you would hear Filipinos say cash. Okay, so hindi cash ang pangbayad ko. But yeah, since this is you, okay, it's all right. You would say cash. Hindi cash ang pambayad ko. So that's you. Next, okay, next, uh, her. Okay, so the total comes to 142.37 including tax. Okay, sige po, ang kabuuan ay isang daan, anim na put dalawang dolyar at tatlong pung at tatlong put pitong sentimo kasama ang buwis. 
Let's do it again. Repeat after me. Sige po, ang kabuuan ay isang daan, apat na put dalawang dolyar at tatlong put pitong sentimo kasama ang buwis. Okay. Sige po is the same as saying okay. And then, so, of course, it's not mentioned here. It, it's alright not to translate so in Tagalog. Ang kabuuan, ang kabuu, kabuuan, the total, ang kabuuan, ay isang daan, isang daan, 100, isang daan, apat, apat na put dalawa, apat na put dalawa means 42, isang daan, apat na put dalawa means 142, and then followed by at, at means end, end, end at tatlong put pito tatlong put pito is 37 you need ng because you have to mention centimo centimo which means cents tatlong tatlong put pitong centimo kasama ang buwis including kasama including buwis is tax buwis is tax right so i hope this is not difficult for you especially on numbers but if you are you are not comfortable saying tagalog numbers it's all right to say it in english 142 and 37 cents but also filipinos would understand spanish especially on numbers and money okay hi alex this is how we say spanish or or sometimes tagalog people say uh, money in uh, spanish Let's do it in Spanish. Ciento. What? Ciento. What? Al, okay, I forgot. Isandaan. Well, oh. Tatlumput. What? I forgot what is 142 in Spanish. Ciento. Cuarenta y dos. Where? There you go. I, 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 I remember it. Ciento cuarenta y dos at, at uh, treinta y siete centimo. That is uh, some people say it in the Philippines, especially older generation. 142. Ciento cuarenta y dos at, at uh, what is thirty? <laughs> I forgot. Treinta y treinta y siete. Ciento. Wow. I'm losing something like that. 37 is 37. What? Yes, 37 centimo. Yeah, especially uh, past generations. Never mind if you are not. Uh, uh, 142. 142. 142. 142. Yes, thank you for that. Yes, I am trying to remember. That's how my un uncles, uh, my grandpa and grandma say in uh, money in Tagalog. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, right, let's do next slide now. I thought it was 100. That's what they said yesterday when we checked in. Right? Akala ko iyon ay isang. Akala ko iyon ay isang daat tatlong put lima sarado sarado even or closed iyon ang sabi nila kahapon nung nag check in kami again akala ko iyon ay isang daan tatlong put lima sarado iyon ang sabi nila kahapon nung nag check in kami okay i need to to do it faster than I can because we have more slides to go. Akala, I thought, akala, I thought it was, it was ion, ion. Akala ko, I thought it was, it was ion, ion, I. It could be ion, I. Okay, 135, isang, isang daan, is daan is 100, tatlumput lima. 35 okay okay so let's do it in spanish siento what how is that in spanish again siento 35 
what? 135, something like that. I'm trying my Spanish and well, let's see, I hope I'm doing it right. Isang daan tatlumpot lima. Sarado, even. Sarado literally means close or even. Uh, close, sarado, literally. Or, yeah. Right? Iyon ang sabi nila. Iyon is, that's, that's what they said. Ang sabi, sabi, said. Nila is they. And then yesterday, kahapon, yesterday, when we, noong, noong, when, when, something, noon, non, noong, something like that. We checked in, of course, nag check in. Kami, kami is for we here. So, yeah, yeah, I hope uh, this is easy for you. I wonder why my cell phone is dinging. I hope this is. Uh, let me see. What's wrong? What's going on? Next, see. Let's see. Uh, my asawa told me that one. Siento cuarenta uh, What? That is, uh, your asawa was speaking to you in Spanish occasionally? Uh, maybe. Let's see. Yeah. Okay, let's do it again here. Next slide. Op okay, let's go Tagalog, right? Opo, kaya lang. Oh, no, not this way. Opo, kaya lang ay may dagdag na bayarin sa kwarto nyo. Opo, kaya lang ay may dagdag na bayarin sa kwarto nyo. In English, that means, yes, but there is an extra room charge on your bill. Okay, yes is for opo, but kaya. Uh, uh, take note of the word kaya. Kaya here means but or uh, kaya, but, but, or yeah, because, kaya, because, something like that, or pero. Of course, you can say pero. Opo, pero. No, it doesn't, doesn't look good if I, you say pero here. But sometimes kaya also means pero and but also means pero. But it's better to say kaya lang ay may dagdag na bayarin sa kwarto nyo. Also, be careful on, on reading or saying kaya because there's other words such as kaya, kaya. That is another word and different meaning means carry carry or you can kaya or something that you can do it or it's easy kaya or you can bear it bear b-e-a-r so this time so take note kaya is not the same as kaya so this time we are talking we are using the word kaya kaya lang ay may dagdag na bayarin sa kwarto nyo dagdag extra or additional Dagdag. Bayarin is room charge. Room charge. On your bill. Bill. Bill is for bayarin. Room is for cuarto. Yes. So you see, if you are new in Tagalog, you would wonder why the words are rearranged and it goes this way, that way. Yeah, there's reason for that when we go grammar, right? Oh yeah. So don't worry too much if you are new. Just listen, and this is how we say it. I hope you are doing good. We are doing good here. How much more slides? Uh, I'm sorry for overtime, but uh, I want to finish it. Okay. So yeah, I have something. Let's do it. I need to move fast. Are you still here with me? I. I don't want to leave it. I don't want to cut it in the middle. I think it's okay if uh, uh, you're still here. And let me see some. Uh, let me check. Let me check. Uh, what is that? Uh, hello, four concurrent viewers. So we're good. Oh, we're seven. Good. Good to know. We are seven. And yeah, let's do. Let's do uh, proceed with our. I really need to keep going, right? I need to keep going. Oh, I forgot. My wife ordered a plate of calamares. Sorry. Oh, I forgot. My wife ordered a plate of calamares. Sorry. Okay, so in Tagalog you say, I nakalimutan ko. 
Ang misis ko nga palay nag-order ng kalamares, pasensya. Ay, nakalimutan ko. Ang misis ko nga ay ang misis ko nga pala ang misis ko nga palay nag-order ng kalamares, pasensya. Again, slower. Ay, nakalimutan ko. Ang misis ko nga palay nag-order ng kalamares, pasensya. Okay. I is just an exclamation instead of O. Oh, you would say, ah, I. I. Nakalimutan, forgot. Ko. Nakalimutan ko, I forgot. Okay? Nakalimutan ko, I forgot. Nakalimutan, you have to say the word, the, the verb first before the noun in this, in this regard. Okay? Nakalimutan ko, ang misis or my wife, misis, ang misis ko nga pala, misis ko, my wife. Kung nga pala, it, it's the, it, there is no direct translation in English. These are just word helper. Nga and pala. These are both word helper to, to give uh, like uh, good, uh, good uh, emotion to your statement. But don't worry so much. I just have to introduce it to you so that you are familiar with uh, natural Filipino statement, okay? Nag-order, of course, we borrowed the word, or, the word order in English. Nag-order ng calamares. Do you know what calamares is? Okay, it's squid, right? Uh, squid cut, chopped into like ring, ring like, right? Calamares. Of course, pasensya is sorry. Pasensya is sorry. Okay, next slide. Next slide. No problem. So, from 150, here's your change. Now, I will just need to ask you for your room keys. Okay, so there was a bit of confusion. But of course, the lady uh, in front of you said, no problem. So, from 150, here's your change. Now, let now I will just need to ask you for your room key. So, it appears that yeah uh, out of 140 something of your bill yeah so you gave 150 right so because because you paid in cash okay so and you have some change so from 150 here's your change let's do it in tagalog walang problema po kukunin ko po mula sa inyo ang Oh, I forgot to translate that 100 for 150. Okay, never mind. Okay, let's do it. Walang problema po. Kukunin ko po mula sa inyo ang susi ng kwarto. Okay, let's do it again. Walang problema po. Kukunin ko po mula sa inyo ang susi ng kwarto. Okay, walang problema. Of course, no problem. Kukunin is I'll just Oh, I'll just ask. Some kukunin literally means get. I'll take it from you or get it from you, right? Kukunin either both means uh, what get or take. But here I'll need to ask you. So this is how you say it in English. In Tagalog we say kukunin ko po, or sometimes you you will hear it like ibigay mo po. Okay, bigay is give. Ibigay mo po, or give me, ibigay mo, give me. But also, I just use kukunin ko, I'll get, I'll get the key from you. That, that this is how I said in Tagalog. Kukunin ko, I'll get, mula is from, sa inyo, you, mula sa inyo, from you. Ang susi is the key, susi ng kwarto means room keys susi ng kwarto room keys okay uh, okay so this is the light slide and this is what is mine this is my additional 
lecture for you bonus so for the conversation this is the end of the conversation let me see reaction of you have question i, I would be happy hi jula lane thank you for coming over how are you i hope you are fine tapos ka na napadaan ako no almost uh, i still have more slides to to present uh, i believe and so and people are still here with me i believe so and still listening uh almost finished anyway so i just have bonus bonus <laughs> bonus uh information or lecture uh, let's see i have six concurrent viewers thank you for staying and thank you for the for uh, like uh, waiting and thank you for I, I apologize for overtime, but I believe you are enjoying it. Let's do the next slide. I like to present this to you, right? Something because I promised to deliver this to you. Okay. How to say excuse me? Okay. How to say excuse me? It me uh, you can say there are various ways to say it. Of course, Filipinos just simply say excuse me, but it's not Tagalog, it's English, right? Tagalog, if you are looking for Tagalog uh, meaning or, or translation of excuse me, one is pasintabi. Pasintabi. That is classic actually, so not a lot of people are saying it anymore. But yeah, we are learning Tagalog. Let's say pasinda, pasintabi as excuse me, right? Pasintabi, excuse me, right? Or maybe I'd like to interrupt the conversation. The two people are talking and I need to interrupt them because I, it's in urgent. So I would say, pasintabi, I'm sorry for interrupting your your conversation but i need this okay something like that pasintabi okay and then also we can say makikiraan po makikiraan po that means that also means excuse me but it doesn't mean the same as pasintabi although yes you can say pasintabi makikiraan is just like like for example two two people are talking along in the hallway and the hallway is just too, too narrow and you you need to pass by and uh, you don't want to be rude and then people are talking right there in the enjoying their conversation in a narrow hallway but you need to pass by so you would say makikiraan po so literally makikiraan po means i need to pass by right i don't want to be rude i just I don't want to just just uh, what sneak sneak out you know, and uh, what cut your uh, your what uh, eye to eye conversation right so makikiraan po and also makikiraan po we do this we put our hand and then something or maybe something like that and we we bow i and i want to really if the camera is just right it's nice to demonstrate it but we put our hands this way and then we bow down like that and then we we walk bowing like that until we are we are we are through right some that maybe if you have a filipino wife and you maybe you have spent time with your filipino family in the philippines you have observed the way filipinos do it right i i wonder if kelly have seen it right and then another way is tabi tabi po tabi tabi po i maybe some of you already watch uh mike what is this mikey bustos i think mikey bustos ha, has explained what tabi 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 po means hey baby bruce are you listening i know you know what's the meaning of tabi tabi po <laughs> yeah so i re i would refer you to mikey bustos for his explanation on tabi tabi po let's let's get reaction what is uh where is this let's see uh reaction i want to read your reaction uh, uh help me if you i can already send you my messenger what issue i'm facing from today close hope you solve it out okay i will i will look into that sub let me read the uh, um uh, what is this uh, what is the name again uh uh nakita ko to. i learned some new words and phrases salamat good to hear that well, how would how would i uh, call you again randall randall 
Thank you, Randa. Let me see what is your problem, Sab. I cannot. I have to say, if you're not helping me out, I cannot go far. I hope you solve this other of learning will go. I need to complete help. Hey. I will get to your message later, all right, um, Sab. I hope you are good. Oh, I'll get to you later when I'm done here with my slides, okay? Yeah, I maybe I will talk to you in private, okay, Sab? Right? I need to finish this. We are running out of time, okay? And I don't want to waste the time of other people. Let's do it. Yes, Kelly is enjoying it. Randall is enjoying it. I hope that Alex is also is still here with us. Let's see. Ne next, how to say I'm sorry. How to say I'm sorry in Tagalog. First, also one way to say it is patawad. Patawad. If you rem if you have spent Christmas in the Philippines, right? So and there are people, uh, I want children in the streets singing Christmas carols, and then there's lots of them. Sometimes it's all right. You would say you were tired of uh, giving coins and what, or you you were run you ran out of coins. So you would say to these children, Patawad. Yeah. So in Christmas days, especially uh, these children going house to house. Of course, it's nice to make children happy right on christmas days but yeah most of the time you would say or people say patawad yeah but of course patawad also means i'm sorry but yeah christmas carol sometimes you you would feel sorry you cannot give something also another way to say it is patawarin mo ako this is a complete statement because mo is you ako is y mo is you ako is me right patawarin mo ako is complete but of course patawad is also just one word and it has the same meaning right patawarin mo ako or patawad also you can say pasensya pasensya and also you can say paumanhin okay i'm sorry paumanhin yeah there are four four ways to say i'm sorry Maybe I missed something. Write the comment down below if you know something else. How to say I'm sorry in Tagalog. Another one. How to say that's all right. How to say that's all right. Walang problema is one way. Another way is huwag mag-alala. Or also that means don't worry. Huwag mag-alala. Or also complete statement. Huwag kang mag-alala. Same as saying don't you worry. Huwag kang mag-alala. And then also, I, you would say, Naku, wala iyon. Naku, wala iyon. Okay, so also, uh, maybe in English you say that, Oh, it's nothing. Oh, it's nothing. Naku, naku, wala iyon. Also, the same thing as saying another expression, Ay, wala iyon. Ay, wala iyon. That's, that's the same as saying, Ah, nothing okay also another way to say it walang kaso walang kaso because kaso is also synonymous to problema walang kaso or walang kaso iyon or walang kaso yon walang kaso yon i hope you appreciate it one i think there's one more okay how to say really okay okay and then let's see okay just this let's do only this too and we are we are good oh really i'll make it faster oh really you say oh nga or nga means uh it's just a word helper but you often you say it a lot of times in manila people is speaking in tagalog always say nga nga okay but in my province we don't say it that much because ours is ngani not nga okay but that will be later not today oo nga dito nga that means here actually wala nga none really so nga is just used to emphasize what you really mean right and then really talaga talaga really or totoo totoo really okay and also in in uh, the philippines they always say as in really as in i hope you're familiar with that people say it in manila but in the provinces not much as in they mean really or oh, oh, nga. 
it's but it's english right as in is english next slide oh really oh really so you are like surprised yeah or you it's just like aha uh -huh. or yeah or are you you wanted to confirm it oh really see nga with a question mark and a upward what inflection is that how you say it ganon ba ganoon ba or ganon ba also another way is talaga talaga totoo 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 ba as in oh really uh, maybe i forgot one thing sometimes we say hindi nga okay hindi nga something like that okay oh really or sometimes hindi nga right you want to to confirm it yay and so we're done i think possible at the hotel this oh uh, this is not this was supposed to be checked out we talked about possible conversation at the hotel checking out okay yeah yes and also announcement i want to see you we will meet tomorrow saturday at 10 30 a.m est google meet i will um, i will paste the link in the group tomorrow est google meet video chat with me i will be there for you and the repeat session in the afternoon four to five so if you're not available in the morning you can catch me in the afternoon okay so let's see and uh, let me get your messages let me see uh i am making tabi tabi po t-shirt yay yay you bruce yes let's do it and we will sell it here on youtube <laughs> okay yeah sub i will uh, get to you in private private message you alex Bisayan uses these words a lot what are those words yeah uh, yeah okay i'm sorry i just found your message was late i understand all these words for really salamat yes that's all for now thank you for being here yes i'm here with you all the time or oh, whether or oh, not always what what i am as much as i can i can be of help to you yes uh, i'm always on facebook especially facebook group i am always there i'm always monitoring our thread our post feel free to 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 what raise your question in the group uh, sub so fast you finish it off i'm waiting down your class notes for today yes thank you you enjoy it thank you kelly will i see you tomorrow kelly i hope so and thank you julia lane for being here yes again we will be here again same time i promise i as much as i can i can i will be there uh, uh next week uh what not late as i i would try i will try my very best to start on time but i apologize and thank you for waiting when in case i was late yes good night good night randall a good afternoon kelly enjoy yes I, I want yes it's nice to to see you again it will be nice to see you again tomorrow kelly yeah i will be there one hour so i show up i always show up to you one hour each session one hour on youtube and another session on sunday morning yeah what let me see let me change my screen yeah ingat kayo take care take care mag ingat yes mag ingat and also what i would like to say i don't want this one yeah let's do it this way yeah and yeah take care and as much as possible just stay home stay home watch all my videos my past videos okay and let's learn tagalog while we are staying home maraming salamat i'm happy that we are growing yes i'm happy that people are are what taking actions and so for now i'm sending love peace protection healing good relationships happiness joy your way hanggang sa muli